Hey guys, Bondo here. We are at a project that we're getting started here. And uh, Dwayne's on his excavator with his ditching bucket. And we are going to be doing an ICF frost protected foundation for his new house that he's building. This is his property. We uh, did that pole barn last year, the floor in his pole barn. So we are going to dig all this out. His foundation here, it's gonna be all filled in and it's gonna have radiant heat in it. And we're just basically doing a stem wall for him out of Nadura or, or ICF. I'm not sure if it'll be Nadura. I gotta price him up. But we're gonna dig all this stuff out of here. It's pretty sandy over here. Um, we still got snow, as you can see, right there. It's just melting off. So we're uh, getting rolling early here. Um, the snow just melted over the weekend. Today's Monday. Um, we're going to get this dug out here, and I'll show you what it looks like, and I'll give you some uh, tips and tricks on doing these ICF foundations like this. This is frost protected, like I said. Um, just going to be shallow. The walls are going to be shallow. So we're going to use styrofoam board to protect it from the frost. We have a 48-inch frost line here in upstate New York. So um, with that being said, stay tuned. There'll be more real quick. This is where we're at, guys. We're just kind of digging around level around the perimeter. I got the laser stick, and I'm setting grade for Dwayne. He has a laser on the um, side of his excavator which gets them in pretty good in the ballpark, but I'm just going along and checking things. Basically setting the laser down on the ground. And it tells you where, right there is where you wanna be. So that's what I'm doing here, helping him out, um, just so he gets a good dig for us. And we're gonna dig this whole thing out. It's got a lot of organic, you can see that organic layer and the pitch drops off here quite a bit. So by the time we're done, we're just gonna take everything out of here and get rid of all the organic stuff and then build it back up. So, because this does drop, I mean, it starts off here and then you can see the, the land goes this way towards where the driveway is gonna be. So that's what we're doing. We're just gonna hog this all out. This will look like it's a basement when we're done. It'll all be dug out. But there's, we have to have foam detail around the outside and uh, we have to have the footers in there and there's a bunch of jogs in it too. So just digging the whole thing out. I'll uh, show you what it looks like in a little bit. Stay with us. All right guys, this is what the site's looking like. Um, first thing we did was laid out our, our uh, perimeter of our foundation here. So you could see all these string lines and all these jogs. This thing is chopped up. I'll show you the blueprint in a minute, but um, basically what we did is just this string is our is our outside wall. So our footing is going to be bigger than that string, but we wanted to get everything laid out down in the hole here. We wanted to uh, get it square and all that. So and then we got something to go by. We dug it nice and wide, as you can see, or Dwayne did. Um, Dwayne, the excavator, this is actually his house. So he's building a new house. There he is coming along on the excavator he's just moving everything turned out to be really sandy in here so um we're getting an early start on this project it's a, it's in the 40s right now to working but it ain't bad it rained yesterday but the water just runs right through the sand didn't even do anything to it you can see it's all sand so this is our back wall there's a porch here um we're going to have two and a half courses in Nadura on top of here or not Nadura we're going to use fox blocks actually so um, we are going to use uh, fox blocks because they're a little cheaper so and I want to try them I've heard good things about them so and the distributor that I got a hold of the distributor he's going to deliver them all that stuff so we're going to give them a try so this is what she looks like guys first job of the year Big biscuit, first job of the year. We got all our, we got a lot of boards strung around here to build our footers, but we don't have uh, enough lumber. So we did buy some more lumber from the Amish, some inch and a half by 10 by 16s and 12s. 
and that's gonna be ready tomorrow I believe so um, this is the blueprint guys so you got this is basically facing the road you got a porch here little indentation there's a porch back here with a jog in it this is all living space here this is a garage on this end it's got quite a bit of jogs in it as you can see it's gonna be pretty detailed building this thing so but we'll get her we'll keep you posted stay tuned and I'll show you some more about how we're gonna do this um, we're gonna do a mono pour on this we're going to pour the wall and the footer at the same time and it's a short wall it's gonna be frost protected so the wall is only gonna be two and a half courses we're gonna saw cut the top course in half so gonna have two courses of ICF and then a half course and we're gonna fill the wall up and then we'll fill all this back in level and then we will pour a cap floor on top with uh, radiant heat in it that's what we're doing stay tuned oh what's wrong bubber bubs what's wrong bubby <laughs> what's wrong pal <laughs> Oh, I get it for you, buddy. I get it. <laughs> get the stay still for a second. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Poor little guy. <laughs> uh, we're digging these hooders in, guys. That's what we're doing. I had to get that video rolling with the handkerchief over its face. <laughs> he was freaking out. We wondered what was wrong with him. Okay, here we are. So we got our board, our outer board down the back. Turn the corner here. We're just leaving that string line right there. And we're measuring four inches off the string line to the outer board. And that string line is where our wall is gonna be. So we're gonna have four inches on either side of the wall. So the ICF blocks are right around a foot thick, the six inch ones, 11 and a half to a foot. We'll have four inches on either side for our footing. Our footing will be 20 inches wide and our spreader boards will be 24 inches wide. If that makes sense to you, that's what we're doing. Stay with us, I'll keep you posted on the progress. We're about done for today. Beautiful day it turned out to be. It's gorgeous, gorgeous day. Dwayne's down here helping us, me and Big Biscuit and Dwayne. Big Papa was here for a few minutes. What do you got to say to your fans, Big Biscuit? Glad to be back. Glad to be back to work. Yeah. Feels good. It's a little chilly, but Rose glad to be back. Right now we're setting the height with the laser. I mean, it's just a scotch high, so we're going to dig yeah. it out. Oh, that sounds like it's right there. That's what we're doing, guys. Big Biscuit style. Okay guys, I'm gonna tell you what we're doing right now. We're making our spreaders um, for our uh, cast in place wall system here. So this is what they're gonna look like. It's a piece of half inch electrical conduit picked up from the box store. Big Biscuit and Justin are cutting them to length with the bandsaw. We're cutting them at two feet long. And then there's gonna be, uh, that'll make your footing about 20 inches wide. We're gonna be screwed through. I'm drilling holes in the ends of them. There's a bunch of them. So I'm over here at the drill press, just drilling a hole in them. Put them in here, go in about three quarters of an inch, zap a hole in both ends. I got my grinder running here. I just clean up the ends, get the burr off of them. And then uh, that's what we ended up with. Got a pile of them here. So these are gonna be our spreader boards. They're gonna go between, uh, I say spreader boards, but usually we use lumber, but we're gonna start doing this new system here with this electrical conduit so we don't have any wood inside the footer. And we're gonna build our, uh, we're gonna do our mono pour system here where we're gonna pour the wall, the ICF wall and the footing at the same time. So that's only gonna have to use the pump truck once or however we fill the wall, we're gonna do everything at once. So, Biscuit, Dustin, over there cutting on the bandsaw, and I'm over here at the drill press. 
slash grinder station. Rotor's over there doing nothing. Ro! Say hi to everybody, Bob. Say hi. He's not much of a worker, are you, buddy? No, nope. we'll get her done though, huh, Bob? Okay, guys, day two here um, on the ICF foundation here, Frost Protected Foundation. That's what she's looking like. We basically got a lot of our outer board in. We got our string line set, which you probably already seen. The string line represents the wall, so this thing is all chopped up. Um, we got those pieces of electrical conduit cut in the shop that I showed you. Holes drilled in them, so that's our that's going to be our spreader boards, spreader whatever you want to call them. They're not boards, but usually we use boards across these footers. But we're going to cast the wall and the footer, so we don't want to put wood in there. We did the wood in there a few times, but. Um, some parts of the country they can't have wood in the ground we can here we don't have any termites or nothing in new york state but I'm, i switched up figured out a better way to do it so everybody can do this throughout the whole country you can do these mono pours so we're using two by ten forms here going to give us a 10 inch footer we are putting these uh electrical conduits on now what that's going to do is establish the um, width of the footer. We're going to put them every three feet down through here. Just like that. He's going to spread them out. Every three feet. Terry's marking it out. Dustin's putting a three inch screw in the end of each one. That's going to hold everything together. That thing's going to be rock solid. Then our ICF block is going to sit on top of there. And that's going to hold the ICF block up. And we're going to use some blocking. I'll show you when we get there. But we're going to put some blocking on either side of it. And that is going to hold the ICF where we want it. That's how we're doing it, guys. Um, stay with us. We got a fresh load of uh, hemlock from the Amish that we're using for um, footer boards. Because we didn't have enough for this project. I got my footer boards from last year. But... We needed more. There's those, all those spreaders that we got made up, and they're just gonna stay right in the, right in there forever. We'll just pull them screws out, and they'll get cast right in the wall. I'll leave a little weep hole if you ever need any water gets in there. And that's what we're doing. That's dust in there. He's a new guy. We're teaching him. He takes the place of Roy. We got rid of Roy. He's too, too angry. We don't like angry people. Right, Big P? Absolutely. We don't like angry people on the team. Oh, no. <laughs> That's why we keep a couple of these spare. <laughs> oh, boy, don't listen to him. <laughs> All right, guys, stay with us. I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's where we're at. Um, the wind just picked up. It's looking like it's going to start raining. Or it's already starting to rain, so... I'll show you what we got done here. We got this nightmare of a front area done, except we haven't uh, we haven't set our elevation yet, but it's close. We got all our uh, pipe spreaders in, our conduit pipe spreaders. I got to get more of that. We're running them every three feet, so we're using up a bunch of them. I cut 20 of them today into. Uh, two foot pieces so quite a bit so far this is day two but our days are short because we actually didn't start till 10 today because of the um i had to go to physical therapy for my shoulder plus it's uh everything's frozen in the morning right now but that's where we're at guys i just took you for the whole loop we got some work to do down here on this back porch yet, but we're getting there. We got to tomorrow, we got to build these jogs here, which won't be too bad. There's only like one jog here. It goes over and back, and we got half of it built, and the rest of this wall is straight. We got uh, Fox Blocks coming in the morning, guys. Um, they're delivering them. We are supposed to get some uh, light snow tonight gonna blow in here so I think tomorrow morning is gonna be kind of crappy 
we're just picking things up putting the tools away and we'll be back in the morning to get rock and roll and finish this footer up and get it our elevation set and then we're going to start stacking blocks on top of these uh conduits that we put in these spreader conduits but we're, first thing we got to do is get our rebar and our footer so that reminds me i gotta order some of that so stay tuned see you in the morning so we're having a safety meeting dustin <laughs> after work safety meeting rowan's heading it up what do you think ro what do we gotta work on Rowan? what do we gotta work on today buddy I think we did pretty good. <laughs> We're pretty safe, aren't we, buddy? Just having a cold beer after work, guys. That's how we do it. Have our safety meeting. Tip a couple blue ones. Tomorrow we'll have another good day. And another safety meeting. Yeah, another safety meeting. <laughs> There's my new buggy. She's Bud Light Blue, too. Yamaha. Looks exactly Bud Light Blue. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that's so close. We'll call it the Bud Light Buggy, or just Bud for short. All right, guys, I'm out here in the shop. Um, this is the building paper that we're gonna put in the footer. So I was just gonna cut it. I marked it off, these are nine foot rolls. I marked it off at three, six, and nine. So we'll have a three foot piece. I'm gonna just cut it with the chops out of here. That's how we're doing it. I'll make this other cut, and then we'll have a bunch of this stuff. Big biscuit putting in the spreader pipes. We're building this back porch right here, guys. There's our spreader pipes. Big Papa's over there making cuts. Pretty cool morning this morning. It actually snowed a little bit last night, but it all melted. Just a dusting. But the sand is nice, doesn't even get wet. This is what she's looking like. So when we do our corners, we're putting them like that. There's a T corner here. So these pipes are gonna support that block. And then we'll probably do on these corners like this, we'll probably put a angle piece, which will actually support that corner a little better. But I haven't put that in yet. We're, Terry's cutting me a piece for here. And Biscuit's putting them on. What happened? We put this together wrong. Oh, I'll shut the video off before anybody realizes we made a mistake. <laughs> okay, guys, here is the footer. We got it all done. Uh, she's chopped up pretty good in the front. A bunch of porches and stuff. This is a porch. This is how we did it. We used the electrical conduit. We got a rebar in there. We hung it off these wires. Just wired it off the electrical conduit. Hung the rebar. There's close to 350 foot of footer here. And about 20 corners in it. Just a crazy chopped up project as you can see big biscuits packing up so this is our third day pretty much three guys working on it um, today it was kind of two guys but the homeowner helped us because big papa sprained his ankle at home so he had to leave early but this is the, the whole project. There's a porch in the back here too, which is another two jogs in it. 
There it is. And we are going to be using Fox Blocks, guys. We're going to try something new. No new Dura here on this project. We're going Fox. Um, they're less expensive. A decent amount, too. So we're going with that. We're going to try that system out. Um, heard some good things about it. I looked into Logic Blocks, which are actually a little cheaper than Fox, but I really don't like them that well. I've used them in the past. So there it is, guys. We're going to stack two and a half courses of blocks on top of here. And that is going to be our frost protected stem wall foundation. We're going to be done today and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we're going to take tomorrow off. Tomorrow's Friday. It snowed last night. But we'll be back. This is where we're at, guys. We started doing some ICF blocks on Saturday, or on Friday. I didn't video it, but um, we just started stacking them up on here. Everywhere that the block touches the electrical conduit there, we just cut these nubs off. Just took a handsaw and cut them off so that we're not rock and rolling because these nubs, you got a high point and a low point. So that kind of makes the block rock and roll. We clipped on the seams, we clipped four clips, top and bottom, um, just to hold it really stiff so that it keeps the wall flat. So this is how she's looking. Nothing's fastened down to the electrical conduits. We could still move the wall. We could shift the wall if we want to. It's just sitting there. Um, that's going to allow us to square everything up once we get um, we get this course all done so All our dimensions are locked in get all our plates on there's quite a few common seams in this thing Just because it's so chopped up and it's all chopped up So um, that being said we're gonna probably put another course on the corners and pull some diagonals and get everything squared up and once we're squared up we can start putting some blocking in here like up the wall and over and screw it into the footing top of the footing which will keep the wall where we want it it'll be right exactly where we want it and then we'll probably strong back it but that's what she's looking like the back's pretty much looking pretty good back here that's his porch all that right there that's gonna be a porch in here and that's just a straight wall that goes down. That's the garage over in here. Gonna drive in the end there. So stay with us. That's how we did it. Like I show you here, every every seam we got four clips. So maybe wasted a few clips, but that's all right. Every single seam on the first course. That is what we're gonna do to uh, make sure this thing doesn't come apart on us. A little different than the uh, new Dura blocks. Obviously they're four foot, so they're shorter. So the clips actually will hold everything together better, I think. But you can see how our footer is. I've probably seen it earlier, but it's got the rebar hanging there off the um, electrical conduit. And when we pour this, we're going to pour the footer, kind of let it stiffen up so it don't start oozing out of here, and then come back and pour the wall. And it'll all be poured in one day. So that's how we're going to do it. Otherwise, if we just tried to fill the wall, it's going to ooze up out of here. So we'll pour that footer first. By the time we get around this thing and come back, we will uh, be in good shape. That footer will be hardened up. So stay with us. I'll show you some more on uh, how we're going to do this as we go. All right, guys, this is the end of day two with uh, me big biscuit and the homeowner working um actually just me and the homeowner worked on it saturday today there was three of us and this is what we got done see we got everything clipped here we got a rebar in we put the rebar right in the middle of the wall because this wall gets backfilled on both sides 
so there's not really any lateral pressure on it. We had a ton of uh, strapping that we put on here today. You can see this wall, we haven't straightened anything yet. It's just sitting on these uh, conduits. Everything can move right now. We haven't tried to square anything up. It's just sitting here. So once we get everything where we want it, we can uh, put our pieces down and over. And that's what she looks like. We put little pieces across the corners here to kind of support the edge of the corner. Another view of the rebar. You got the corners all clipped and you clip them down here. You clip the top course to the bottom course on the third or the first and the third web. You clip basically clipping this seam here to itself this way. And then we clip the top of every seam going this way on the second course. First course we put four clips in, two in the top and two underneath. We double clipped it because of uh it could open up at the bottom because of the way the way it's sitting. So basically we want to support like right here because it's sitting on these pipes. So that's why we um, put four clips in every head joint on the first course. There we are. We're going to put a half course on here tomorrow if it don't rain. And we're going to cut the inside edge of the form right here. We're going to pour the concrete down to here. And then we're going to pour our floor up to here. So that's how we're doing it. Beer 30, we're out of here. Catch you tomorrow. All right, guys, here we are. We got everything put together here. And all we need to do is square things up at this point. So I'll show you some of the details here. Um, the garage portion is going to be right up to the top. Basically, we're going to pour concrete right up to the top of here. And the garage floor is going to sit down four inches. There's got to be a... There's got to be a step between the garage and the house um, per code. So when you get over to here, this is going to be the house. So what we did is cut the inside of the block over there. 
That's some of the footage I had of us on the table saw. We were cutting this inner block and we put it, it's two and a half blocks high. So we cut this in half. This is an eight inch block. The Fox blocks are 16. So we're 24 inches there or 32 inches there. And we got these all cut four inches down. So our floor, when we're done, is gonna sit right here. So we'll pour the wall down to here in the house part. And then when that dries, obviously everything gets filled in. The dirt gets filled in two inches below here. And we are gonna put spray styrofoam, spray foam. And then we're gonna do radiant heat. And then this concrete cap's gonna pour right up flush with this. And then we're gonna put anchor bolts in it. And that's how they're gonna build their house. So the porches have a little step in them. This back porch here, it's got a little step in it. We shaved the nubs off of here just to make it flat, so easier to trowel, but you got an eight inch step here. So once we pour our concrete, house is gonna be up here. We're gonna pour our slabs about there, maybe a little higher in the back. So there'll be about a three inch step because we're gonna pitch this concrete. Concrete will be four inches here and it'll be a little thicker at the back. So this is all porch. We haven't we haven't squared it yet and we haven't hooked it down and braced it. We gotta still do that tomorrow. That's why the walls are kinda, they don't look too perfectly straight because we haven't straightened anything. These walls still move. You can still slide them on this. You can move them in or out still. See, they're just sitting there. Uh, we got most of our common seams all plywood plated or uh we got some plywood plates and we got some just two by twos and stuff that we had laying around um this is this there's gonna be a fireplace here so we had to create a funky little jog here so that's how we did that it's got a ton of rebar down in there j hooks and all that um front porch over here you can see we got to straighten all this yet this is all we got to get this wall in line these three pieces all line up with each other this thing has uh 23 corners in it i think I, that's exactly what it has we thought it was 20 but there's 23 corners in this um, this is a porch again in the front and there'll be the same kind of step right here about a three inch step concrete will pitch down to here there'll be an overhang on it. it might be stamped concrete i'm not sure what he wants 23 corners definitely a nightmare to work on um don't mind the mess here tomorrow we're gonna bring an enclosed trailer over and pick all this foam up but this is basically the waste we had it wasn't terrible not terrible on the waste really for having all these corners we tried to use all the pieces up that we could but that's that guys i'll uh, get more video footage once it's braced up i'll show you how we did that Yep. Okay guys, this is how we are holding down the Fox blocks to the footer. Basically, we went around the perimeter and we screwed a 2x4. We're just using 2x4s that he's going to frame with, so we're not wasting anything. So, we put the 2x4, we put a screw in the web, about every two or three, we skip one, put another screw in or skip two and put our screws in so that holds the wall from settling on the pipes and then we take just some scrap lumber that we can find and we got our string line here that keeps everything straight so i'm just going to put one in the corner here i'll show you how we do it basically put a couple screws in it oh, it's got a dead spot on it just throw a couple screws into the footer and we'll double it up like that. A couple more screws. And I just angle right into that board. Good sharp. And that's going to keep the wall from being able to rise up. I doubt it will, but that just keeps the wall from settling. It keeps it from being able to pick up as we're pouring the footer. The wall might tend to want to float, but got your string line, keeping everything straight. 
and that's how we're doing it. When we're done, there's gonna be no wood in the footer because we got our pipes that get cast into the footer, and that's how we did it. Big Biscuit's gonna put some pins in here. We made some pins, so we're drilling a hole in the two by fours. I know we won't ruin a two by four, but yeah. that's just rebar a piece of rebar with a washer welded on the end of it. I used a grade eight washer and he drills them in, pounds them suckers right in like that. And then we're going to screw up in here. After we straighten our wall, we'll put some screws in here, toenail it into the top plate right here, our horizontal. And that's how we're doing it. We got them all done over there. And then we got all these crisscrosses in here. All right, guys, I'm gonna take you around here. We are ready for concrete. We just finishing up. Everything is braced. Everything is uh, ready to go. Shouldn't have any issues. Put a ton of uh, two by four bracing on here. We put those pins in the ends of uh, the two bys. We drilled the hole, like I showed you. We spray foamed any gaps that we had here. Everything's straight. We string lined everything now. When you look down there, she's nice and straight. Nothing should move. You see how nice and straight everything is right now. We are gonna pour this to right to the top. This is gonna stay down four inches for our floor. This all gets filled in, guys. And then we're gonna put um, some radiant heat in there with some two inch, or actually we're gonna spray foam it. Spray foam and then tubing and then the floor is gonna get poured in that four inch little saw cut that we made. That's what that's for. Shouldn't move. We should. We're gonna try to pour this with a conveyor truck, so that's gonna be a little challenging. We're not using a pump. Try to save a few bucks with it. Well, it's supposed to be nice this weekend. It should dry out, so it's a little wet right now. It's, it's all sand, but it's a little wet. And that's what she looks like. I'm gonna get some video footage Monday of us pouring this.